Hello, hello! Welcome back to Hola Soy Linda's channel. Hey! So I know I said last week that I wanted to do this video that was going to be really, really awesome, but I can't do it. It's been raining. It's been raining since the weekend. And well, I just bought this camera and it was really pricey for me. And I'm still paying it off, so I can't afford to lose this camera unless somebody wants to buy me one, you know, but doubt it. Anyways, so instead of that video, you guys are going to have to wait again because this weekend I have a quinceañera. And if you guys have been to any Oaxaca quinceañeras, then you know that we party it up for two days straight. So it's not going to happen. So today what I'm going to do is... I'm going to teach you guys five ways in dealing with negative ass people. Yes, you heard me right. We all have that negative Nancy out there or negative, what should we name him? Negative Nicolas, you know? Just always saying negative stuff, always trying to bring you down, always trying to kill the mood. And these are five ways that have actually worked for me a lot because you know you need to live with negative people you can't change people so but you can learn how to cope with it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys the story well actually I'm going to act out the story of what happened yesterday at my job that inspired me to do this segment today okay so remember five ways in dealing with negative ass people and let's start with story time hey Linda why don't you tell Alex to be a lawyer? You do know he's not going to make any money as a teacher, right? Well, that's okay. I'll be his sugar mama when I'm rich. And how exactly are you going to get rich? YouTube? YouTube? Huh. You're really funny. That's like me winning the lottery. The chances of you becoming YouTube famous is one in zero. <laughs> Do you know how many famous people or how many people try to be famous and they all fail? I think you should have another plan. That is such a negative thing to say. Why would you say that? That's not nice. That's so negative. Your energy right now is so heavy that I can't even deal with it. I can't. You know what, Dr. Beep? I don't know why you think money is going to bring me happiness. But even though I may not be rich, I am rich in love, happiness, family, culture, traditions. And you know what? I'd rather die trying than getting old and realizing that I never tried to do anything and not knowing whether I would have made it or not. So yes, I'm going to try a hundred million times to get what I want. And have you not heard of what you say comes true? I'm not negative. It's called being realistic. And I'm telling you to have another plan because it's not going to happen. Okay. So now that you guys have seen the storyline or the plot that led me to making this segment, let me tell you the five ways that I use that help me with negative Nancy's and negative Nicolases. Number one. If you're the type of person that doesn't like confrontation, number one is breathe. Or if you're just having one of those days where you don't feel like saying anything to anyone but their negativity is bothering you, bothering you then just breathe. Breathe. Number two is empathize. I know you're probably like, what? Empathize with the negativity? Just empathize. You don't know what they went through. They probably went through a lot of stuff. And that's why they're just negative Nancy and negative Nicolas all the time. And you know why I know? Because I used to be me a few months ago, before Taller de Vida. I used to be negative all the time. Nobody wanted to be around me because I was so negative. So, empathize. Feel bad for the person. Try to empathize. Be kind. Number three. Number three is walk away. 
if you have the chance to walk away, then walk away. If something makes you feel weird, if something, if you feel negative energy, if you feel funky energy from anyone, you have the right to just walk away with no explanation. You don't deserve anyone an explanation. Just walk away. <laughs> Number four is call your negative people out. Call them out on it. If they're just being negative and negative and negative, be nice. Don't be in a rude way. And simply tell them, hey, you're being negative today. If your circle is around negative people and you're negative Nancy and you're negative Nicolases and all your friends are negative Nancys and Nicolases, you need a new group of friends. If you're negative, you will attract negativity. And that's all you will pour out there. And if you think negative all the time, negative things are going to happen to you. If there's a rude person that's being negative or just angry, hi. You don't have to be rude back. You could easily just be like, hey, good morning. And I promise you, either one, they're going to be like, or two, you could even change their whole mood. So call them out and be kind. And last but not least, number five. And this is my favorite. You know why? It is... Sage, sage, make sure you sage yourself, make sure you get rid of all the bad energies you caught throughout the day, and you guys, don't buy sage from Urban Outfitters, actually don't buy sage from people you don't know, because you don't know what type of energies they're carrying, and you don't know what type of energy you're bringing into your home and lighting up, sage is sacred, so be careful out there, be kind to one another, and I hope that my five tips helped you guys today. I can't play flutes because obviously it's raining and my equipment is going to get wet. I just said equipment. That's cool. Anyways, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Like my... Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Like my videos and share this video. Thank you guys. Bye.